previously in Red Dead Redemption 2. My uncle sent me a letter the other day. He found gold. There's the tavern up ahead. I see the horses. We just gotta be quick and quiet about it. I got this one. You get that one. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Slim, you alright? How the hell we start getting this gold? Well, when I said gold, it was more metaphorical in a sense. What I meant was this place is a gold mine in the sense that it could be very profitable if we used our brains as an entrepreneurial tool. Uncle sends me out of here. Fucking stays back, camp sleeping on the fucking ground. And we're slim anyway, I don't know. Fucking goddamn it, ran off. Whoa! Gotcha, boy! Whoa, whoa! whoa. Hey, hey, easy, 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 Augury! God damn it, Slim, you fucking scared the shit. I almost blew your nuts off. You, you got a bit of a trigger finger, my friend. A bit of an overreaction if I do say a bit. You, you, you gotta settle down, all right? Well, you fucking, I mean, after you got kicked in the fucking gut, your, your intestines been hanging out. You look like a fucking dog with a tail. I don't know what was going yeah, on. Yeah, and I know you like it. Yeah, I do but like Listen, it. I got my dinner for the next week. What are you going to eat? Well, I was ex maybe expecting you to share, considering Uncle's been eating all my fucking squirrels I catch. Well, you know, maybe since you got enough shrap shrapnel to kill a village in this deer, I figured I could give you that piece. Well, I, I suppose a little lead couldn't hurt nobody. Very inert metal cur certainly couldn't cause any neurological damage. as very small amounts in the body. Uh, sure, I'll take it. Thank you, Slim. I appreciate it. Now, listen, Slim, I was thinking. I, Uncle's been making coats, but I think that we can really form a company here. If we, if we catch enough deer and I don't fill them full of lead, then maybe we can make, I don't know, uh, lingerie or something. We can really corner the market here. I mean, think of it. Every man, woman, and child wearing... Crank and Slim's lingerie. I mean, we could really make a kill in here. And there's no other company around here that's hunting furs like we are. And listen, with your business expertise and my face practically wrapped for the billboard, look at my mustache. I've been growing oh this my thing God. Slim, for a bit now. You definitely did not have that this morning. Did you grow that in the woods, yeah? <laughs> listen, something about the fresh air makes a man's lip go wild. That thing is beautiful, Slim, I have to say. In fact, if you didn't have that mustache, I, I don't know if I would be your friend anymore. <laughs> Hoggery, if this stash was not resting upon my lip, I assure you there'd be a rope resting upon my neck. <laughs> and I'd put it there, just for your sake. Oh, wait, look up there. What? What'd you see? A shack. A hunting shack, maybe? Oh, maybe. Oh, no. yeah. This place, it looks like it ain't been clean since the day it was built. I no, I think... has been... Wait a second. What? Whoa. There's a whole town down there. What the fuck? There ain't supposed to be anyone up here, Slim. Come on. You gotta check this out. Stay quiet, stay close. Take a look at what they got you know, going on on there. Now that I think about it, Slim, this, these people, whoever they are, might be the reason we ain't finding no fucking furs around here, no food. What do you see down there? I definitely see... <clears throat> yeah. I, it's hard to tell from here, but that looks like hanging meat. I thought we was the only ones operating up here, Slim. That's what God your uncle it. told us. Son of a bitch. Well... 
Listen, Slim, I, I'm not willing to give up this opportunity. We we didn't go from eating rats all the way up here just to be muscled out by a couple of fucking mountain people. I said we go in there and we take those fucking furs, Slim. You know I ain't one for bothering. Let's go. Quick, quiet, in fact. I don't like the look of this. Oh. Oh, oh shit. shit! Go loud. Was spotted. Now listen, folks. I don't know who you are, where you came from, but these hunt grounds is ours. You're gonna learn the hard way. Check it out, Slim. What's over there? This is where all what? the animals are. Oh shit! Slim! Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ! It. God I'm damn. good. I'm good. Just kill these fuckers. Clear out the place, and we'll take everything. I'm pulling in your fucking head. Come here. Son of a bitch. Come here. Die! Now you best get the fuck out of here. We're taking these furs. A bitch. They'll just keep coming. Again and again. Whatever this place is, they mean to defend it. Come on, Slim! Lost our fucking deer. It's fine, it's fine. We'll hide up here until they're gone. <sighs> They'll get those furs. Oh, Slim, you... What? S Slim, uh... Oh... What? Tell me, damn it! Oh, Slim, no, I... Oh, God, you... Whoever shot that bottle, they... They burned your stash off, Slim! What did you just say to me? They burned it off! The fire <laughs> cleansed your face! You better be telling some sort of cruel joke right now. And I Slim, swear, listen to me! If you can see yourself a Christian man, I can I tell you to get on your knees and repent for those fucking Slim, lies. look at me in my eyes and tell me I'm a fucking liar. You know it to be true. Feel your fucking face, Slim. No. Oh, Hagari, look at me. Look at me, I'm a guy. God, I can't look at you, Slim. You look fucking disgusting. You're burned. You're just, you're just gross, Slim. Get all horses. Get back to camp. I don't, I don't give a shit about any of this no more. Well, Slim, we gotta see who. We gotta grab those furs, Slim. Come on. There's only one fur that I want, and that's which grows on my lip. It's gone. I can feel the wind on my lip. God, don't look away, Slim. I don't want to see it. God damn it, Hoggery. I look like some sort of pastor's wet dream. You look like a goddamn infant. Who are these animals? Search the camp. I recommend you all stand down unless you want to share the fate of your dead bastard cousins. Wait a second. What? What did you find? Wait a second, Augury. B.S. Edwards. The Edwards Company. Edwards. Is that who these people are? The Edwards Company. There's another fucking company up here. Stealing our furs. Our meat, burning our stashes. You hear that, folks? This ain't yours no more. We're taking all of it. When you try to stop us, you'll be met by lead. Listen, Slim, I'm... 
I'm sorry you look like you you best in boy now. I, we couldn't have known it would have happened. It's all I had out here. It's all I had in this world was my mustache augury and it's gone. Hey Slim you Hey Slim, you look like a shaved gerbil. I know, Uncle. I know that's what I look like, and, and yes, I'm gonna stop you before you start, I know what you're gonna say. I know, I also look like a shaved hamster, okay? <laughs> I know. Yeah, that was, in fact, the next thing I was gonna say. <laughs> you are sh I mean, that, that fire might have burnt your mustache off, but your big brain's still intact there, Slim, that's for sure. Now listen, Uncle, I'm considering this about 25% your fault. You son of a bitch, you told us these mountains was clear. You told us we could hunt. Well, yeah, I did. I mean, <laughs> I did say you can hunt, but what I meant when I said that was you can hunt for an opportunity up here to make money with me. I didn't specifically mean hunting animals at all. I just meant that we could come up here and hunt for a chance to make it big. God damn it, Uncle, you gotta be more clear. You gotta be more literal. <laughs> Slim, you, you look like you could, you look like the next child star. You look like a young Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't know who that it, is, look, Uncle. It's 1899. You, you, uh, you, you look like a young Leonardo DiCaprio. Not in that you are as attractive as him, but in that you have a clean saving face as he did. I get it, Uncle. I get it. All right. You have a beard, Hoggery has a beard, and what do I have? I have the burn marks of a job failed. But you know what? I think you know something about this. I think you know who these people are, and I think you know you had competition in these hills, and that's why you got us in the first place. Well, I can virtually guarantee to you that I had no idea that there were other people up in these mountains. I have not left this campsite in probably three months. Uh, I moved these to this, I moved the camp to these geysers specifically so I could bathe in the steaming water to remove, remove the filth and vermin from my, from my thick body hair. I haven't done much hunting. I didn't know anybody else up here. So you're telling me if I drop the name Edwards Company, you can't say a damn thing about who they are? What did you say? <laughs> I said the Edwards Company is the damn people who burned my mustache off. The Edwards Company is the people who nearly got us killed. And the Edwards Company, Uncle, they're the ones keeping us from that gold. You know, you, you're right. I, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but you got to understand now you're in a... You're in a heap of trouble. You don't understand who you just killed out there in the hills. Edwards Company, they're, they're a subsidiary of Cornwall Oil and Kerosene. They're the, they're the biggest monopoly this side of the Mississippi. So, uh, we killed a bunch of men, a bunch of hillbillies hunting for them in the woods, and you're telling me now they got a vendetta after us? You know what? Oh, no. You don't understand, Slim. I mean, I think you're just lucky that mustache got burned off, man, but they won't recognize you now, because if they caught you, they caught me, they caught all of us, they'd skin us alive. These people are dangerous, they've got money, they've got guns, they've got a fucking whole refinery down there in New Hanover. Well, shit. I got guns, I may not have money, I may not have a fancy refinery, but if one-third of me is anything compared to the lot of them we killed down there, I think I could take them. I say we go down there and we remove the competition. Let's, let us be the monopoly here and let's start selling our elk lingerie to every man, woman, and child this side of the Mississippi. Who's going to stop us? Uncle, you tell me right now where the hell we can find those Cornwall fuckers. All right, but, well, I suppose I, I can... I can point it to you on a map, but you better not lead them back here. I'm telling you right now. It's called the Heartland Oil Fields. So they've got big lakes of oil there. I mean, they've been pumping oil out of the ground. And, well, just be careful, fellas, all right? I mean, when you go there, keep it quiet. Take them out, remove, kill them, 
kill them, destroy the machinery, and get out before they know it's you, because if they catch you, if they know what you've been up to, well, I'm not even sure I could save you. Let me put it this way, Uncle. When we're done with them, not a single Cornwall fucker's gonna have a hair left on their body. I agree. Yeah. Can I ever tell you why I grow this mustache? No, uh, I, I always thought it was because you looked like a beautiful, beautiful soul. I mean, uh, be before your mustache got burned off, Slim, I considered you as close to approximation as a god as any man alive. I, t I told you I had a life before Sand and Eat. Hell, I had a life, I almost had a wife. A wife? I gave her a ring, she hurt out her finger. Only thing we didn't do was the wedding itself. Well, that is, till she told me I had an ugly fucking lip. Oh man, Slim, I, I'm sorry, I, I had no idea. I mean, we were so young when we met, I mean, I had no idea, but... I was 14. I couldn't even grow a mustache. And shit. The love of my well, life told me that my lip was ugly as shit. She told me, she told me it looked like a pedophile's nightmare the way those lips were so bald. They were so I mean, bald. That, let me explain that to you now. Cause I had to have it explained to me. The lips are so bald that it's like a fetal pussy. And a pedophile, according to, according to my ex-wife, does not like a fetus. They like the birthed kind. You know how that feels, Hargory? I really have no idea, but... You know what, I don't want to open up old wounds, but... I mean, you do look like you were just born. I mean, I have a hard time understanding sometimes when we talk how a newborn could speak, and then I remember that I've known you for 25, 30, 40 years. Listen. You're talking about old wounds. These Cornwall fuckers ripped the whole bandage off. I'm not leaving till every one of them fuckers is dead. Let's do it. Let's find the fucker who runs this place. Let's find all the machinery. And everybody else. And let's fill them with lead. And let's light it up. Now, I don't know about you. But I don't care about being quiet. I don't care about being smart. I just care about how much red I see on the ground when this is over. And you know what the hell with what Uncle said? Every every motherfucker's gonna know who did this. They need to know that this is our territory now. I, I reckon the overseer's in, inside the building, so let's head in there first. Kill any motherfucker in our way. Sir! I have a question! <laughs> Good shot, Slim. I didn't even know you could throw an axe. Is that a new skill you developed once you lost your mustache? The aerodynamics of my throw are heightened without the hair. Jesus Christ. My name is Bandito Slim. And until today, I had the best damn mustache a Bandito could ask for. You fuckers took it away. Goodbye. Now, I'm gonna take a hell of a lot more away from you. This is my town now! They're wearing my lingerie! Are you. Where the fuck you think you're going? I don't even need a gun. Where the hell is the overseer's room? He's not in his office. He must have took off when he heard the shooting, Slim. I have a bad feeling about this. God damn it. God fucking damn it. This is it. This is Cornwall. Uncle. <laughs> Uncle must have been suffering from those sulfur fumes up there because I don't feel very endangered by these people. Now, if they had a monopoly, I say we could. Hold on. Hold on, get to cover! Get to cover! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You want some too, huh? I got plenty for you. Yeah. 
You damn fool. You could have been wearing my lingerie and now you're fucking dead. Kill every single last one. We came this far. I ain't giving up, Slim. Ah, fuck. God, behind us. You know what they did to me? Something like that. This is just the beginning, Slim. After we destroy this place, I say we find this corn wall and we shave him clean. Is that the law? Oh shit. Oh shit. How many more of them do they have? I don't know. Uncle did say they had a lot of money, a lot of connections, very powerful people, Slim. Oh, God damn it. God Boy. damn it, there's more of them. Jesus Christ. Well, I got more ammo. Come here, you son of a bitch. Ah, ah, I've been hit, Slim. Oh. Ah, oh, they shot me bad. How bad are you hurt? I said, how oh. bad are you hurt, damn it? Jesus, I'm bleeding, Slim. God. I'll be alright. Bullet went through me. If we need to get you back to camp, you No, tell no, no! Ah, fuck! Ah. ah, Jesus. Oh. Oh. Oh, Slim. Oh, God. Alright, you know what? Jesus. No, Slim, we can't give up. I'm hopping on this train. No, Slim, we can't. Yes, we killed enough of them, damn it. Look at you. We'll hop on, on this God. train and we're getting the fuck out of here. Come on, I ain't giving you the choice because I'm going now. God Come damn on. it, fine. Come on. <sighs> Have we lost them? I believe so. It's hard to tell. I mean, we. We must have killed 50 people, Slim. I mean, we're really outlaws now. We're getting out of here. We'll, we'll think of something, all right? Oh, fuck, Slim, back oh, there. Shit. Is that one of them? Uncle's right, we can't take us. them back to camp. Where the hell are we gonna go? I don't know. Uh, we can't head south. We stole horses from there. We can't head north. We just killed a whole fucking refinery's worth of people, Slim. We must kill 50 people. God, and we can't head into town. You look like a fucking freak show. We'll be shot out immediately. We, I look like I a goddamn we, pygmy fetus. God damn, we gotta head north, Slim. Real north. I'm not talking back to camp. I mean into the mountains or something. All right. All right, all, all right. fuck it. Go in the mountains, we'll lay low for a little while. Yeah, Never meet right. back with Uncle. Let's go and get the show on the road. Fine, fine. It's fine with me. Well, we gotta get off this train somewhere. There's a station right here. Alright, we'll hop off here. Let's steal some horses and handle them out. Alright. There's a ranch right here. All right, jump. Oh. Oh. <coughs> God. Come on, Jeez, come on. Slim. I can't I run, Slim. Oh, God damn it. As fast as you can. Wait, in this building, Slim. Right here. For a second, just gotta catch my breath. 
Look like a fucking mess. God, I'm bleeding. Look at the floor, Slim. I'm bleeding all over. All right, stay, stay here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out the town. All right. See if I can find a wholesale wagon or something. Slim, don't look anybody in the face. All right. It might kill you. All right. Come on. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Come on, get out here. Get out here right, right I'm now. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Whose horse is this, Slim? We're getting the hell out. We ain't looking back. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding real yeah, bad. Geez. I know. I feel like I'm gonna pass out, Slim. Oh. You ain't passing out for shit. You're staying alive. <laughs>